Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to try Bourbon County brand stout. Now this is from Goose Island. Uh, this was in a four pack and in what is it? The I want to say 19 ounce. I've got a different, I've got the coffee version over here. Um, I don't know why I'm looking up there. Uh, doesn't this, aren't these 19 ounces or something like that? I thought it said, huh, the bigger bottles, but they made them in smaller bottles, <laughs> I guess. Um, so yeah, you can get the 12 ounce or the bigger ones, I believe. I was actually thinking this went back to like just a barrel instead of blending it, but uh, I believe uh, this is just smaller portions instead of drinking uh, the big one, you can get this. So I have a big one and I have three more left after I open this. Uh, so this is 14.3% ABV, um, October, I'm, why is it 27? Oh, drink by. Okay. I was like, what the heck? Uh, so October 11th, uh, 27 is when you should drink this by. So let's go ahead and get this thing cracked open. Uh, this is my first Bourbon County in actually two years because, uh, last year I was sick and by the time I was better, uh, they were all sold out. Uh, now, this is a Imperial Stout, so it's going to be up to you how warm you drink it. I want to say this has been sitting out for 45 minutes um, uh, before I did it. I did a couple other reviews uh, before this one. So, uh, if, I'm just saying, if this has more coffee... Uh, and you want it colder, that's on you. I drink my coffee black and iced. Uh, so I would rather drink them a little bit colder. So you might want this to warm up for over an hour. Uh, so no head. Color. I would say that's black. Pure black. You guys are seeing a little bit of brown, but so am I. Um, but yeah, I think it looks like it's supposed to. Nice legs on there. Almost like a bourbon. I mean, it flows a little bit more. It doesn't stay up there as long. But yeah, good legs on that. Let's go ahead and smell. Wow. You get some oak. I want to say oak, vanilla, and chocolate. I get some coffee, um, but I think that's to be expected. Like the amount of coffee chocolate I'm getting would seem that's what it would be if you were making a big barrel aged stout. You're gonna have those darker roasted malts, those 500 SRM malts. You're gonna get chocolate and some kind of coffee coming off of it. Uh, the oak obviously is from the barrel. I get a little booziness in there, but nothing too big. And it could be um, going back. Uh, I started drinking bourbons, buying bourbons to drink, and it smells like it should. If anything, maybe that charred, a little charred, bitter chocolate in there stands out the most. Now I almost want to say dark fruits, almost like a tart cherry I'm getting from that. But overall, I think it smells good. It smells like it should. Let's go ahead and taste. Yeah, a thick body. I think I pick up on the dark fruits, like a tart cherry plum. I get that chocolate, my lips are a little bit sticky, so maybe a little sweeter than in the years past that I've had it. 
a little alcohol burn. Uh, I almost want to say not very wet barrels. Um, definitely not getting a big booziness uh, from this. Not a lot of oak, at least in my opinion. But again, that could be from drinking uh, more bourbons uh, this year. Yeah, on the back end, I want to say like a dark cherry fruit um, with some tartness, like a tart cherry uh, in there. I, I get the chocolate, uh, a little bit of coffee. I think the chocolate sticks out more than the coffee. So it's almost like they did add some kind of chocolate, which I'm pretty sure they didn't um, in here. A tiny bit of burn, but nothing big. Uh, I almost want to say like it's aged a little bit better, you, you know, because usually young, young bourbon barrel beers, uh, you're going to get more of that oakiness, um, and you're not getting it out of this one. I don't think I've got it big out of a lot of them, um, but I think maybe a little less this year in this one. Again, I didn't have last year, so 2021's uh, regular one. Yeah, it, it drinks fine. I like, I almost want to say a light fudgy chocolate. Um, kind of, you could almost say a, a, a chocolate uh, a tart cherry covered in chocolate. Um, I okay. I get a little, a little oak, little oak, little chard, a little coffee. I think the chocolate sticks out the most in the back of the palate. That tart cherry dark char tart cherry uh sticks out the most for me um and that is about it a little heat down in here on the aftertaste um sure it should be there it's 14 percent uh vanilla You could say up front, um, a little bit of vanilla up front. Um, I like how this turned out. Uh, I'm glad I have three, uh, technically four more. Um, I think I would go with a 3.75 out of five. My only knock is I want more, uh, more fudginess, more something. Uh, I think, actually, I'll look it up right here while I'm yapping. Um, it's kind of, like, do you really know it's barreled? Again, maybe coming because I've been drinking a lot more. So for a four-pack of this... It was $37.99 is what I paid for it. Um, I guess now thinking about it, would I really go with a 4.75? I think, okay. Now that I talked myself out of a 4.75, I would go with a 4.6. On untapped, I'll score it a 4.5, on, but my overall rating is a 4.6. Um, tasting this, it kind of feels like it's an imperial, at least to me, it's an uh, imperial stout with tart fruit not barrel aged
Yeah, that's what I'm going with. There's a touch of oak in here. I do get that oak presence. But I think you get that chocolate and that tart cherry, tart dark fruit the most out of anything. Um, I think I want more barrel presence in this. So yeah, 4.6 on untapped, I will go with a 4.5. Let's check untapped. Two of my friends check it in. Uh, 4.75 out of 5. Uh, 332 people checked it in. 4.47. Jeff M. Uh, no Jinx. Uh, 4.5. Rich chocolate, toffee, caramel, vanilla. Um, let's see. Style guidelines. Chocolate, bourbon, boozy, caramely, toffee. They're almost making this sound like it's a dessert one. I don't think it is. I'm not going to look at everybody else. Uh, but, yeah, 4.6 out of 5. Uh, yeah, and I've got three more of the smaller ones. I'm happy they're doing that. I wish they would just do that for every one um, instead of the bigger ones because most people aren't going to drink that. Because, uh, like me, I'm having this and that in the same day. Obviously, it's today is a Saturday, so football's on, so I'll drink them. Um, but, yeah, I wish they would make them all in 12-ounce. Um, not to derail this, but um, one well around here in Michigan, they did 8-ounce cans of their higher barrel-aged beers. Perfect. Why don't they do that? Make more of them so more people can get them. Uh, but that's just me. So if you've enjoyed this one, leave a comment down below what your favorite year's been. And if you enjoyed this review, check some more out over here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, cheers.